Okay, everyone, it's time to begin exploring, you guessed it, Grand Junction, Colorado. Are we going to go downtown Grand Junction to all the nice shops and check them out? Are we going to the wineries of Palisade? Are we just going to chill out in the hotel room? Mm -hmm. All brisk day in Palisade, Colorado, outside Grand Junction. Hey, um, I may have lied in the last video a little bit because uh, that is Mount Garfield. And the plan is for me to get up there somehow hey before you say anything it's not like i haven't done some research like here's a review a great challenging hike not for the faint-hearted there are some places where the trail is narrow and slippery so beware oh, okay well whatever here's another one hard hike but well worth it not recommended for amateurs or kids well i've done some hiking and besides, I have proper gear. See, I have a backpack with Tums. I have this survivalist jacket that my daughter got me for Christmas. I am set. And I have some survivalist food to give me energy throughout this climb. Oh, I'm about ready to go. Um, oh, I gotta put my survivalist gear on and uh, wish me luck. I gotta pee already. This can't be a good sign to start out with. Oh, wow. That's pretty steep. Alright, here we go. Holy crap. I'm only 10 minutes in. Oh. Oh. So I'm telling you, this is ridiculous. So the grade on that first incline had to be about 60%. I learned quickly, slow the pace down. Ah, made it a little farther. Yes, that's a sheer drop off. And that's about three foot path, if that. Here we go. I don't know if you can tell, but I am not in any shape to do this. You think I would have learned this after the ski trip two years ago. Ah, here as I ponder the awesome scenery, my life, my existence, and the distance that I have to go. For John. Taking a break in what is limited shelter. Here. I'm uh, at a death drop. It's about a 10 mile an hour wind. It'd be nice if it wasn't, but keep it going. Continuing great scenery as continue the climb. Whatever you want to call this. Beautiful, huh? Which way? Which way? is the less likeliest path of death. So I downloaded this app called All Trails. It gives you a guide up through your path. Why would you need that? Well, there was some divergence, if you will. It definitely helped me on the way up anyway. We'll see on the way down. Oh, wow. Another really steep grade. <sighs> Fantastic. <sighs> ooh, ooh. Ah. Most people my age would say, hey, you did well. You can go back now. Should I? So at this point, there's more photos than videos. The reason is my stupid phone battery loses percent, and when it gets down below 5%, the videos won't take place, whatever. Um, you'll notice coming up shortly, um, there's actually snow up here. Yep, there it is. Um, and there would be mud as well. It might be hard to see from the videos and the pictures, but the climb is ridiculously steep. So, I'd say making it to this height is quite...
quite an accomplishment. You know, if I quit right here, I'd be, I'd be okay, right? Yeah. Problem is, I'm not there. Here's the first of a few mudded areas. You know, it's really hard to walk in three inches mud on an incline. Not to mention walking on snow that's packed over rocks on a steep incline. Another super view. There's the Grand Mesa. The snow really did create a challenge. I swear there was one area where I stood five minutes contemplating how to get over the rock without dying. Well, some would say if you give up, it's, it's okay because it's trying that counts, right? Right? That's for wussies. I made it. I cannot believe it. I made it. I made it to the top. Look, the American flag post. You know, I'm not really sure the way down is going to be a piece of cake because some of those ledges, yeah, ledges covered with snow and mud. What can happen? Well, because of my lovely phone, there's not much video from here. But yeah, it was a challenge going down. Um, you know, it's ridiculously hard, here's the mud, to slow yourself down on an incline that you don't want to fall off the edge. So it was tough. So about that All Trails app. So I was about 300 yards to go and looked over and yeah, where that arrow is, that's the trail I'm supposed to be on. This one was really precarious looking. It was far more narrow, narrower, uh, but I couldn't go back up and over. I just didn't have the energy. Yeah, there it is. I mean, I did end up getting down and was able to finish my journey. You know, it's a good thing to have a washer and dryer here because it got pretty muddy. Uh, speaking of, Columbia hiking shoes were awesome. And even though this is not a paid advertisement, Columbia, if you want to send me some gear to try out, I'm your guy. Oh, and about the washing, shoes don't go in the dryer well, so... So that's it for here in Grand Junction, Colorado, because I'm back on the train tomorrow. Hey, you know, I wonder if I tell my wife about all those great vineyards in Palisade, she'll come back on the next trip. Hmm.